Welcome back to the next episode of Factory Town, folks. We now have our buffer of both uh, metal conveyors and cloth conveyors filled, so we can start placing some more down. Uh, we've got our barn complete with iron wheels and gears. We have finished our research for medicine and are now researching uh, fisheries after the boats were done as well. Um, but there was a little part that I've knocked up here a farm growing grain into a grain mill outputting animal feed into a pasture for leather uh, for the purpose of this workshop that's going to create books what we're going to do is just very quickly pop in an upgrade basically our, um, our paper is all well and good but that only gets us one what I would like to see is the ability to get 10 from these um, and we can also use our um, fertilizer that this produces to go back to the farm to increase the speed of the grain growing. which may or may not keep up the grain milk, but we'll see. There's no other purpose for the um, fertilizer. Like, there's no point in keeping it in the pasture, so I might as well put it into the farm. There we go. So the books will now pop in, and they, as I say, are worth 10 per go, rather than the one per go of the paper. Uh, which, considering it costs four to make it in the first instance, is a, a plus six for the amount of time that's taken is, in my opinion, very much worth it. So, we now have that ticking along. We want to get back to over here. So, we need to put down a new farm and start working... the herbs. Now, herbs cost red coins to operate, but that's fine. And we want to supply them with water as well. And we just need to take it over to there. So it's not, not a difficult one. Um, pop it like that for now. And they'll sit just outside it because at the moment they can't do anything. But what we're going to do is the fish oil plus herbs into ointment. And now we just need the fishery, which is what we're currently researching, in order to um, automate the collection of the fish. Bring that round probably this way, I think it's probably going to be the best one. Maybe here. Maybe these potatoes don't need to exist, but we'll, we'll see exactly how the fishery works, as I say. Because that is a new thing for me. Now, gourmet food. None of those require tier 5, which is fine. The apothecary. Just the elixir, which we're not going to be making yet. General goods. The warm coat requires tip five, but we're not at that kind of a stage. I'm thinking we might want to put a second workshop in to create more more cloth because this is basically where the slowdown is if we um, to put a sp another splitter in there and this will that'll just help speed that up considering the um, 
considering the slowdown is on the cloth itself. So that's better. Um, we really don't need you to exist. Pause it because we don't want to take the cloth out. We only want to take the shirts out. So there's part of me that's like, do we want to make warm coats, but bring leather and wool together as well would be a little bit tricky. I mean, down here, I could certainly do it. But the amount of animal feed that would be involved in that, cause the uh, pasture, it's be six animal feed and two yellow coins per one. That's um, prob probably a little bit out of the realm of what we want to be processing and automating at this moment. Okay, so that's ticking along nicely there. So the buffer is definitely on the paper. Um, could speed that up, but the wood is not keeping up at the moment as is. So yeah, we just need to put more, more tree planters. We'll hit a balance at some point. Now is not quite that point. That's now nicely backed up, so when we start using the metal conveyors, it won't just all uh, screech everything else to a halt, <coughs> which is good. Metal conveyors have the benefit of basically being faster, um, and then magic conveyors as well after that are even faster still. So that's why we want the upgrades at various times. Um, I'm not 100% sure where we'll put the enchanter for the magic conveyors but we will deal with that when we reach that stage All right next book will get us our fishery excellent um a school go for railway so that we can get into mining and then we can start automating the gathering of iron ore in varying natures okay so let's look at the fishery and what this requires place within range of the fish, I guess. So there gives seven fish. Okay, there's red coins. Number of nearby connected water stars that affect fish harvesting speed. Okay. Pretty straightforward, really. Um, red coins to automate it rather than just having a boat gather them, but that's fine by me. I've got plenty of red coins at the moment. If it starts going down, then we can consider whether we want to change that up. But for now, that is perfectly fine. Okay, we're um, not super fast on the gathering here, might need to put some more crops down of each of them, or is it just that it needs more, more people? Fertiliser would also be a good start. Do we want to just make a fertilising growing? Of here. I think we do. So we have pasture. Over here with the sole purpose of making fertilizer. He says, do we want to make anything else? No. 
could make. Hmm. We can always change it. We can rotate things around later. Um, on grain mill. So you're just creating our animal feed. You're just growing, supplying water, growing grain. The farm tiles being all of this. Got plenty to go through. Just get rid of that. Okay, and then just bring this along the back here because we've only got fertilizer it doesn't matter if we had other things then we'd need to get the grabber and now we can tell you to also supply fertilizer to your crops and that will improve the speed that they grow at and if we drop another body into it that will increase the speed that we harvest things at Excellent. Right, now we need to bring, <coughs> bring the ointment out to our barn. I'm going to do it along here. Could do it with a vehicle first actually, but why do that when we're going to want to set up a um, conveyor later anyway? It's only 27 conveyor belts, it's not the end of the world. And let's set up Greyer. Uh, we want specifically the ointment. We don't want to just do the broad category because otherwise you might nab the things in between. Where is it? Ointment. There we go. And then just pop that one in there with filter on ointment. And then the apothecary will start making us blue coins. And that'll open up a bunch of extra tech researches that we can do, and of course, upgrading our base. Um, so we'll be able to get our advanced logistics if we want it, deep mining when we come to it, jewelry, uh, which is the precursor to a few bits and pieces, uh, but mana purification being the important one. And mana power very shortly afterwards. So that's going to tick that along nicely. There we go, 100 blue coins just from selling our, our ointments, and it will just tick gradually over on that. Lovely stuff. So that's our first 100 we'll use to upgrade. So now we can research the mana purification, which is what we want, and you building the speciality goods and we have five more houses that we can pop down we know where some of those go and we want to get them up to level four so they're benefiting from all of the bits and pieces that we're producing how are we doing keeping up? So still fine on fruit, vegetables again, a little bit lacking grains, pizzas out here and there. Jam and veggie stew are not keeping up. Okay, why is veggie stew not keeping up? Because now we are maxed out on the output of all of those. Is the kitchen the bottleneck? Which point extra worker in there to speed that up? 
hopefully that will be enough to bring it up. Probably not going to keep up with the salves to start with. Yeah, I think we need to put a few extra workers into that kitchen just to really, really blitz the speed up. All right. So speciality goods, mana brick, which we don't have yet, reinforced planks. Okay. That's going to require polished stone, I'm fairly sure. Well, we need the magic forge, basically, is the next part. Oh no, because it requires stone, brick going into it, and the mana shards, char those things. So we've got a nice little spot we can do it over here because it also requires coal. Yeah, okay, that's that's not terribly far away from things. That'll be fine. I do think we're going to just get these two areas opened up. The air temple. Let's go to that earth temple back over the other way. And we do have more mana shards there, so if we want to, we can put things on this side considering school. Although there's no real a real f oh, there's a bit of coal there. Mm. All right, yeah, there's, there's a few options. Um, I'm liking where those go to with some nice open areas. We'll probably go this direction next. All right, so that's just ticking along nicely depleting anything too quickly. Um, do we want to bring conveyors down? No, we're fine with the speed on that. We've got our iron. It is that forge that we could do with increasing the speed of though, but it's not as bad. We did just use a bunch of the reinforced planks, which is why that's now struggling a little bit. And because we've increased the um, base size, we can now have more more resources in it, which is why the planks are not coming over to here. But that's fine. So that'll just cause a drop in our red coin and creation for a little bit while that sorts itself out. But as soon as it's back up, that will be perfectly fine. And there's our railways. Railways are great for taking large amounts of resources around, especially if you're using a packager. Um, I'm going to skip over the mining for now and go straight to the man of pure cage. Am I actually? Mine is kind of important. We'll go with mining, um, then we'll skip over steam power and jewellery to get our mana purification. Right, I think that's enough for now. Come back next time, I'm going to leave those researchers ticking along, um, and then we can get into the annex step. I don't think any of our logistics parts need the metal conveyor upgrade just yet. Maybe some of the wood gathering will, but we'll see. I'm going to keep an eye on the tree farm as to whether or not it's keeping up. So this might be a bit more uh, overgrown when you come back. So thank you for joining me, and I will see you next episode.